white fly ficus treatment. Especially in southern Florida, aggressive ficus attacks by white fly have become a devastating problem. Infestation signs are leaves turning yellow and dropping, leaving trees looking bare and spindly in a short period. The ficus white fly or Singella simplex lives on the underside of leaves and robs the plant of vital nutrients. Affected Species The most affected ficus is the popular ornamental ficus benjamina or weeping figure in southern Florida. This variety is heavily used for landscaping and hedging. Other varieties commonly affected, ficus altissima banyan tree, ficus aurea strangular fig, ficus microcarpa cuban laurel, ficus lyrida fiddle leaf fig and ficus mcclellandii banana leaf fig. First Signs Gardeners look for infestation before it becomes critical. Initial signs are streaks of whitish or yellow discoloration underneath ficus leaves, before the leaves turn yellow. There may also be small pieces of white debris moving or static among the leaves, which are the flies themselves, approximately inch in size. Silvery white spots underneath leaves are old skins of immature flies. Treatment Treat plants at the early stage and when they are drought stressed. It's too late when leaves are yellow or dropping. Either use a systemic drench approach in the soil, or wait for fresh growth. Treat small plants with insecticidal soap spray or smother leaves in horticultural oil every 7 to 10 days. The spray and oil are found in garden centers and prevent flies from breathing, causing death. When using a spray or oil, ensure all underside leaf surfaces are covered. Use a small vacuum to remove flies. Freezing removed contents before disposal. Yellow sticky traps are effective hang close to the top of plants facing away from the sun, also near greenhouse entry points. Never stand infected plants near healthy plants. Sprays containing neem or pyrethrum give efficacy, but see insecticide cautions. Applications must be repeated as on the pack. Spray late in the day, avoiding leaf burns. Do not remove debris from premises as it encourages spreads to other areas. Removed leaves make excellent mulch. Treat large areas including hedges with products such as imidacloprid or commercially available soil applied treatments like dinatefurin or thiamethoxam. These products last several months, but must not be used near water. Follow instructions. Insecticide cautions In using insecticides, Especially pyrethrins and imidacloprid, natural predators are adversely affected. Only use powerful insecticides where there really is no natural alternative. Natural Predators One form of management is the introduction of natural predators to the ficus plant. Exicomus childreni the ladybird beetle is a suitable natural predator. Incarcia formosa, a small wasp. Parasitizes up to 100 immature greenhouse white flies each. Incarcia populations prefer temperatures above 70 degrees Fahrenheit for development. The best time to use Incarcia is between mid March and mid September. Delphistus bucillus, a small black ladybird beetle, controls both greenhouse and silverleaf white flea. The larvae will consume up to 1,000 white fly eggs in its lifetime, but will also feed on nymphs. Like Incarcia, the beetles perform best at temperatures between above 65 F. Local University Extension Services may advise on natural predators and provide specimens.